All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x is equal to 36. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I have log 9 to the power of x is equal to log 36. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 9 to the power of x. I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 9 is equal to log 36. Now if I divide both sides by log 9, these two cancel out, and I have x is equal to log 36 over log 9. Now log 36 that's the same thing as log of 9 times 4. So I have that over log of 9. And this is the same thing as, well, if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log 9 times 4, that's going to equal log 9 plus log 4. And I have this over log 9. So now this is the same thing as log 9 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9. Log 9 and log 9, these two cancel out. So I have x is equal to 1 plus log 4 over log 9. And log 4 here. That's the same thing as log of 2 squared. For log 9, that's the same thing as log of 3 squared. So now I can move 2 to the front. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 2 times log 2 over 2 times log 3. Now these two 2's cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log of 2 over log 3. Now, log 2, this is equal to 0 0.301, and log 3, this is equal to 0 0.477. So I have x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.301 over 0 0.477. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.631, which is equal to 1.631. All right, so in this problem, I have 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x is equal to 7. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by factoring out 5 to the power of x. So now I have 5 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 7. Now 1 plus 1, that's 2, so I have 5 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 7. And now I can divide both sides by 2. So then these two cancel out, and now I have 5 to the power of x is equal to 7 over 2. Now if I take the log on both sides, I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 7 over 2. If I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is equal to b times log a. So in this case, log 5 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 5 is equal to log 7 over 2. Now if I divide both sides by log 5, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log of 7 over 2 over log 5. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So in this case, log 7 over 2, that's going to equal log 7 minus log 2. And I have this over log 5. 
Now log 7, this is equal to 0 0.8451. Log 2 is equal to 0 0.3070. And log 5, this is equal to 0 0.6990. So x is equal to 0 0.8451 minus 0 0.3070 over 0 0.6990, which is equal to 0 0.7784. All right, so in this problem, I have 1 to the power of x squared over 8 to the power of x is equal to 61. So to solve this, first off, 1 to the power of any number is going to equal to 1, meaning 1 to the power of x squared, that's simply equal to 1. So now I have 1 over a to the power of x is equal to 61. Now, I'm going to multiply both sides by a to the power of x. So these two cancel out, and now I have 1 is equal to 61 times a to the power of x. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 61. So then these two cancel out. And now I have 1 over 61 is equal to 8 to the power of x. So to solve this, I'm actually going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 8 to the power of x is equal to log 1 over 61. And now 1 over 61 that's the same thing as sorry actually before I do that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b I can move my exponent b to the front so this is equal to b times log a so in this case I have log a to the power of x and I can move x to the front front so I have x times log a is equal to log of 1 over 61 so now if I divide both sides by log a These two cancel out, and I have x is equal to log of 1 over 61 over log 8. Now log 8, that's the same thing as log of 2 to the power of 3. If I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move my exponent b to the front. So this is equal to b times log a. So log 2 to the power of 3, I can move 3 to the front. So now I have x is equal to log of 1 over 61 over 3 times log 2. Now if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log of 1 over 61, that's going to equal log 1 minus log 61 over 3 times log 2. Now log 1, this is simply equal to 0. So now I have x is equal to negative log 61 over 3 times log 2. So negative log 61, well log 61 is 1.7853. So this is negative 1.7853 over 0 0.9031, which is equal to 1.7769, or negative 1.7769.